Oh, dang. When X3 support date ending? Oh, shoot. What are we gonna do now? Oh, shoot. Hmm. Alright, the base of what we're gonna do is uh, talk about um, talk about how uh, lately I've been asking people to donate one seven uh, to my channel to uh, like I said before to donate if you want to donate a Windows seven copy and USB or any as or jazz. Uh, so I've been asking that. Um, so, to my channel, uh, so, last night, or one of the night, I was talking to mom and dad about upgrading there to Windows 7, uh, so after talking about for a while, uh, they did talk about, uh, one of the ones they said, uh, enjoy Windows XP, um, uh, that was working wonderfully. She is running beautifully after reinstalling Windows XP. So, she's running beautifully. Uh, the only thing I can't do is uh, uh, extract the zip file. So, that's the only thing I can't do. But other than the end of browsing and the normal. Or uh, jazz, it does work fine. So, but I like to talk about how lately uh, in YouTube land of tech people that, uh, of course, getting caught up in Microsoft uh, advertisement of upgrade your Camille. Um, so, I've been into that. Lately, uh, just lately, and it's to let you know it's really easy to get caught up if you're just doing if you're only doing email and credit list, the only two things. But if, uh, if you're not doing like credit card over you, XP machine, um, if you're not doing that credit card stuff, you should be fine. Um, Luigi, um, it really depends on how you browse, it d depends, um, because, uh, if you, if you like to do credit card stuff, any other stuff, you might, uh, some might get all of them information, uh, from you, so, but if you're doing just a couple of stuff, hey, you might enjoy Windows XP for a little bit longer. Uh, that it's not gonna get bad at this point, but in the future, uh, it might get bad. But depending on your habit, you might do fine. So, after talking about that uh, with my mom and dad a bit about this, uh, it they are working fine, and they are. I'm not like I said. I'm not doing credit card stuff. Any none of this stuff. Now I do have a Windows Seven laptop, which does meet my everyday use uh, to do YouTube stuff like this. So, so it it does. Uh, like I said, I'm not doing any credit cards, but at least I got Windows 7 on my laptop. Uh, the funny thing is, I used to be a Windows XP fan. Um, I'm still a Windows XP fan still today. Uh, this is how I learned to use a Camille at school. And I learned how to use Camille. As called by Windows XP. Uh, that is my 
childhood, um, ways, how I say, uh, a memory that, and that's how I use, uh, a Camille today, is, uh, learning this stuff from Windows XP, uh, this is how I got a little more advanced skill. Now, I don't have the Enterprise, I only got the home van scale. That's the only thing I have uh, at my house. Now, it's not very often that I fix the Camille or install Windows XP, but slowly uh, I'm getting the experience. So. Um, this year, um, uh, one of this year is installing Windows XP for the first time. Uh, that is experience that I have gained, uh, uh gained to. And setting up Windows XP in the optimized setting that won't slow down. So, it's a little bit of learning call. And this is how I learn from Gamera. I've learned through Windows XP. That's how I got introduced to Windows XP. I've been introduced to Windows XP at my school. So, that's how I got that school. And this is why I don't like Windows 8, uh, because uh, back in my school day, there was a thing about, um, Windows 8, um, or Windows 7. Uh, Windows 7 only came along when I was in, I believe, middle school. So, that came along in middle school. Now, when I was in middle school, I was in no Windows 7 machine just yet. Uh, but slowly, um, as I'm getting older, I, my school is slowly getting Windows 7, and my older school that I have been through are getting Windows 7. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, what I'm saying this is. But, <laughs> here in the butt again. So, that's how I've been introduced to scores. Uh, I've learned how to do file save as. I'm, this year, what new this year is talking Camille over Ethernet. Uh, this is what is new uh, for this year. So, but it's, like I said before, it's easy to get caught up. Uh, the only time you gotta really upgrade to uh, Ubuntu or Windows 7 is credit card stuff. That's the only thing you have to upgrade. But if you're not doing credit card or any stuff, you do, or the only thing you only do is Yahoo or email or and Craigslist and Facebook, but the only thing you do on Facebook is talk, you will do fine. And then uh, you will do fine. Like, I am that, for me, I'm that using Windows XP to experiment. Uh, my mom and dad, they have Windows XP professional on their Camille, and the only time. Well, the only thing they're using it for is to do, um, browsing. Uh, they're doing email browsing, Craigslist looking, and talking over Facebook. So that's the only thing they're using. Uh, so I believe we'll be fine for now. Um, hope not in an easy way. <laughs> but... You never know in the future that uh, you might get hacked or not. 
uh, in the easy way. Never know, but uh, for now, I'm going to enjoy Windows XP before this stuff happens. So, um, well, I'm saying, um, so, that's why I'm hoping to keep using it before this stuff break out. So, like I said, it's easy to get caught up in uh, tech stuff. It's very easy. Um, like I said, these, the Ubuntu operating system are really great uh, to upgrade. Uh, if you have a auto Camille, uh, if you can't afford the new Camille, you can burn a disk of Ubuntu. Now, you might have to YouTube and search to watch people burn their copy of Ubuntu. Uh, that's how I burn these discs. Uh, that is my best advice. Um, if you can't upgrade, um, uh, it will work on auto Camille, like the old PM, the old PTM Camille, not, not this. Uh, this is a Intel Ducal PTM, which is fine. Uh, the Camille I have, the Dell I have, is a dual core PDM processor. And it's a 2007 belt Camille, which it can handle. <laughs> so, I was talking before this camera did that. I'm at stop! Come on, Canon! So I'm talking about how Dell can handle Windows 7. Uh, any Camille, not from 2000, but a little bit back, I believe before Vista, um, you might as well use a Linux, if you're doing in the browsing. That the only thing, um, that is the only thing um, uh, to upgrade if you need to do it, if you doing a lot of, uh, banking and other stuff too, so, a little bit of us do so, but, uh, if you have money, it's okay to use Linux on a old Camille. Excuse how I'm saying computers. It sounds kind of weird, but it excuse that. But like I said, you can take an old Camille and put Ubuntu on it. Uh, it's really depend on the age of the Camille too. You gotta keep in mind. Uh, Camille from the Vista age, you can run Windows 7 from the Vista age too, you know. Uh, Vista is really similar to Windows 7. So. But, get back, getting back to how you can get caught up. Now, here's the thing about Microsoft is if you've been reading Microsoft uh, letters or news, uh, you will notice that Microsoft will complain about how people are still complaining about how people are still running Windows, still running Windows XP. They're still complaining about it, and the problem is when you're in the bad economy, 
Not that everybody is going to buy a new chameleon. Uh, or, or, um, how to say, but, in a way that not everybody is going to buy a new chameleon. The only time you see somebody buy a new chameleon, if it's a rich person still uh, going, still, that the only time. So, you can tell how they try to push it, and the reason why they try to push it is, is investor. The investor people for Microsoft, they are trying to push it. Now, there was a problem of pushing it. Um, you don't need to push people. Uh, anytime you push people or uh, be a little bit pushy on people, they're not going to be happy with you. Or they won't buy your product. Now, see, did I talk about how uh, Microsoft this year is going to release a service pack? Not a service pack, but a service pack give you your thought button, the 8.1 uh, update, where it give you the real start button, not the classic shell button you have to use, but the real start button from Microsoft. Now, later on, they're going to uh, release it later on. Uh, but, it's a funny thought how, um, I am a Windows 8 hater, uh, for sure. Uh, lately, after they've been releasing that news, uh, I've been singing about Windows 8. Uh, I've been singing about it. And there's some slight hesitant for me to go to Windows 8. Uh, some of the stuff on Windows 8 is not the same. Uh, not the same on Windows 7. Uh, I found some of the stuff on Windows 8 is a little bit, um, doesn't feel the same. It, it doesn't. Uh, I do, I do find it differently. You're trying to right click on something. No, wait a second, left click. You were trying to right click, you know the right click menu s system where you go over the icon, you get the menu, you click one of the mouse button to do a click menu to like, Camille property, that, it doesn't feel the same. That's the problem I have with Windows 8. And the funny thing is, soon as you get out of the box, you don't have no start button. And you find if you push the wrong button, if you d open to a app, with when you when you push the wrong button, you get to a app. But one of them is the no exit on a app. Or, it doesn't have the classic feeling that you get from Windows 7. Uh, that is a problem I have with it. Now, there's another problem with Windows 8. Is this. They did a couple years... No, wait a second. Last year when they did that, they gave you a start button. But the problem was... It gave you the storm button back to a touch or whatever you want to call that. I still call it the Metro UI just because lately Microsoft been changing that name too many times that it does get confusing. It get really confusing for me. Like you next know you. When they first released it, they called it the Metro UI. 
Now they changed it to another name, which I can't remember. Which I still got the Metro your eye still stuck in my head. And there's some stuff that it doesn't work. So... <clears throat> So I've been really singing about Winner 8 since the start ban lately. Now, were you you wondering, okay, were you singing about Winner 8 for? Well, I'm singing about for my custom build Camille. Uh, which, hopefully, I am still saving that there. But, um, I've been singing a copy of Window uh, for my custom build Camille. Uh, Luigi custom mail with Camille, you have to you, you have to buy your own uh, copy. Now you can pirate your own copy, but it's much more bad to go to a legal way uh, to get a proper copy of Microsoft. So, but continue on. I've been singing that for that for my custom mail with Camille. I've been singing about, it. and it's really a little bit of. It's been a little bit of a tough thing about it too. It's, it's like, do you want to deal with a lot of stuff with Windows 8? Or do you want to stick with Windows 7? And it's been a little bit tough. Um, uh, lately, they've been improving Windows 8 for gaming. Um, they are trying to push Windows 8. Now, sadly, they're not going to improve Windows 7 uh, gaming performance. Um, some people today are gaining decent gaming performance on Windows 8. And it's pretty cool, okay. But, okay, if I'm working on Photoshop project or any stuff, um, So, my SD card on my Canon T3i got full, so right now I'm recording on GoPro, which is a production camera. Uh, but this is a frustrating thing, but uh, anyway, uh, I was talking about how uh, when you do serious business, um, like Photoshop or any graphic design, uh, for sure a lot of time you want to view your picture. And a lot of stuff is get a little confusing, like the Window 8 app. So a lot of time you have to go through the setting uh, to make sure you got, uh, to make sure not a lot of stuff is going to mess you up or doesn't give you the stupid app. So there is a lot of stupid stuff still, and it's been a tough choice, so. But I want to end the video for you people, so I like to say a couple of things. I am not going to do a voiceover again for now. I am for now going to do this. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to do this. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share the video. Uh, don't forget to support the channel. Uh, any contact link is still in all about channels there or in the video still. So you can visit those links there if you want to. You can do yeah, that. And I dropped something. But, I'm going to continue on, I'm not going to bend over for you people. So, like I said, share this video. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget, you can ask uh, some question about some stuff. Now, like I said before, I don't have any advanced skill. But if you want to ask question how I have two computer talking over the internet, I am very happy to explain that for you, if you want to know. So, there are some stuff you can ask 
question about. And I like to say uh, thanks for watching my video for my channel. So don't forget anytime we have someone supporting the channel, we may have some awesome content for you people. So don't forget that. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later. Catch you next time.